All right, real quick one today. We've got this Samsung uh, old plasma 2012 is like the end of them and uh, just randomly shut off while it was on wouldn't turn back on well the screen wouldn't come back on it was powering up but it's uh, what they're calling no picture but yes sound um, found a bunch of stuff talking about these three capacitors here on this uh, current driver chip that runs this transformer to make I guess the negative 200 volt uh, V scan or whichever it is um, anyhow replace these I did it the lazy way I just put them on top it's not perfect but it's it's uh, pretty clean even though it's a little uh, whatever not perfect um, anyway that didn't do anything didn't make any difference whatsoever so what I ended up finding what the heck there we go um, somebody was talking about taking off this cable here which goes to the brain board where the signal comes in and whatnot um, I assume all these other wires are really just power here um, anyway if you uh, step backwards once I did this, I was measuring it, and I would turn it on, and I would get the negative 200 volts for about, uh, I don't know, almost 10 seconds, I guess, which is more, you know, when these capacitors are out, it turns on for like a split second and then turns right back off. Um, I was getting almost 10 seconds before it would shut off, but still no picture. Anyhow, <clears throat> I unplugged this cable, which uh, something on there, I guess, is like the emergency shutdown for the whole thing. So if there's some kind of problem with any of these power supplies, it quits after a certain amount of time. And so you unplug that, but leave this plugged in, and it allows it to just keep chugging away, making that voltage, even if there's something terribly wrong. So these capacitors are all throughout the whole thing. And, uh, you know, a guy was saying that this circuit pulls like three quarters of an amp AC through one of those. Um, and or you know ripple current he measured and um you know that's a lot uh for something like that and so anyway they're all throughout this entire uh tv everywhere so i powered it up without that cable on which let it just go for it and i was watching and all of a sudden i heard a uh, sizzling burning parts uh noise and smelled it and this capacitor here on the very end of they're calling this the buffer board um the small one like those other ones here started uh smoking catching on fire and uh there it is there and uh anyhow so apparently that cap was shorted and uh was causing this thing to just run up against the wall and so as soon as i let it go for it it burned it and so I cut it off and did it, replaced it the lazy way just soldering it to the remainders of the leads of the previous one um, so that I didn't have to take all this crap off um, and anyhow turn it on and it's fixed so I don't know how long it'll last because there's like a million of these things all up and down here um, they look like they're just uh, power supply bypass caps near uh, each IC but um, for some reason it shorted out i don't know if they're too close to the voltage that they're uh running on um somebody's saying maybe they're only 25 volt caps um i bought 50 volt 10 microfarad but uh when i you know there's like a million of them that come up on the search and so i bought uh these i got these on mauser because they get to me a couple days quicker than digikey um anyhow um these were the highest temperature rated caps uh that they had with these specs and uh they didn't you couldn't select like ripple current uh rating so i figured the highest temperature would probably be the highest quality uh cap for those specs so that's what i bought i only bought 10 of them because i was expecting to only have to replace these three but that didn't do it so I'm going to go ahead and put this thing back together uh, for now. 
hopefully next time one of these things shorts it does the same thing it doesn't hurt any of the rest of the tv but it just quits working and then <clears throat> i can go through and figure out which one it is and maybe at that point i'll just buy enough to replace all of them so i don't want to uh upgrade this tv is absolutely fine for my needs i hardly use the tv at all except for to watch some uh YouTube machining videos or electronics videos or, of course, fail videos, uh, but uh, and some uh, gaming. We play Subnautica on this thing, but uh, other than that, I don't want a new TV. I don't like all the image processing and any of that nonsense, and there's no reason to spend any uh, money on a new one because I hardly use the thing, so I'm just glad to have it fixed. hope this helps somebody because... I didn't find this problem anywhere <clears throat> on uh, YouTube or online. Everybody just seems to have just those three caps go out. So, good luck.